Hey, I'm Joey Snow. And I'm Rick Kloss. We're also known as Patch and Switch. We're on the road to Microsoft Ignite, happening September 24th through the 28th in Orlando, Florida. I was about to say that, but you just covered it. I 100%. I got you. <laughs> I, know, I got right? you. What are we talking about today? Hey, today, uh, just recently, there was a thread that was started on Twitter that was talking about first timers for Microsoft Ignite. And so we thought that since we've been through a few of these now, as well as the previous iteration of, of different conferences, Let's go off and share some of the stuff that we found has been helpful when we've talked with new people. Now, this is not just for those folks who have been, uh, that this might be your first time. Mm -hmm. A lot of conference veterans, or maybe you going for a second time, uh, may pick up some little tidbits of information that you may not have known before. So I want to kind of start off with Arrival. Okay. Arrival, one of the first key things that we do when we get there, land at the airport and immediately pick up your registration credentials. Oh, it's right. It's, it's available now, right? That is absolutely correct. So there will be signage about where, if you're attending Microsoft Ignite at the airport, you're able to go off and to register and pick up your badges, which saves you time. Do not stand in line when you get to the conference center. Right. Do it early. Right, especially for those people taking pre-days. And look, if, if, you're, if you've checked a bag and you're waiting for that check bag to come, most of the time the registration centers are very close to the, to the baggage claims. And just don't do what I did last year and forget to pick up that bag after you get your badge. <laughs> we don't want to go there. Okay, I've got one for you. Use the app. The app's not out yet, but the app will be coming out very soon, later in September. Uh, that's going to have all the details in your hand, including your schedule, and including breakouts, and including evals are all able to be done on the app. So it will be coming soon. Another important thing about the app is, is the, the map and the mapping of the facility. Now, if you attended Microsoft Ignite last year, you'll know that we took up a vast majority of the North-South building, the Hyatt building, and the West building. Now right. this year, we've heard your feedback. Mm -hmm. Outside of the first day and keynotes and a couple of other sessions on the first day, everything is going to be centered in the West building and in the Hyatt. So a lot easier to kind of find your way around the facility and, and to find where, you're, where you need to go. But that app, first place you're gonna, you're gonna wanna go look to see exactly how am I gonna get around? What are the sessions that I have? What are the, what is, what's the schedule of the expo hall? Mm -hmm. And all that information, the app's the place to be. Right on. Now you're gonna to wanna to fill that app with your personalized schedule. Which is number three, use the schedule. So right now, Schedule Builder is available and it has a very important task that the planners love if you would go in and fill out your schedule. It helps us determine the capacity for the different yeah. rooms. So how interesting are you in these different sessions? Stock up with one, two, three in the same time slot potentially, but you can always mark one as being your primary favorite one. But they use that for capacity, so it's really, really, really important to go off and to figure out what you want to do. The other thing is, there's a lot of opportunities for sessions at Microsoft Ignite. Right. There's a lot of different technologies. I suggest when you're building your schedule, don't just load up with everything that you know and you want to get deep on. Mm -hmm. If there's something, some project that's sitting out there, something that you might want to look at that's going to happen later on this year, maybe early next year, some piece of technology that you want to just know a little bit more on, add a couple of those sessions into that schedule so that, look, you've got an opportunity, go learn the stuff that you know, but branch out a little bit. It's very rare that you have all these experts in one single place. Number four. Number ready four. Ready for this one here? I'm ready. This is it. Be a good neighbor inside of Microsoft Ignite, make new friends. My trick is I bring a little small portable power strip to be able to share a plug. Absolutely, I learned that from you. And also while you're there, um, you, had, you mentioned this one here as we were just getting ready for this, which yep. was um, be Wi-Fi friendly. Yeah, be a, be a good network neighbor. Right. Uh, you're concentrating this many people in one place and we, we take a lot of steps. We bring in essentially a brand new network and sit it on top of what's happening there. Mm -hmm. But as everybody knows, I, IT folks out there uh, can be constrained when you're streaming a bunch of stuff. When you are, uh, turn off all those those downloader services and everything else that you've got going on. Just be a good Wi-Fi neighbor. And when you're not, a lot of times in, in session rooms, you may be using your device to go ahead and take notes and stuff. Turn off that Wi-Fi when you're not using it. Right. Just allow the more bandwidth for, for, for more folks to come. Yeah, so when you're making friends also, try to occupy less space inside the seats, kind of leave some empty space next to you, try to let some other people in and use that as well because we're all trying to get in there. Uh, and generally just, you know what? Everybody's there to learn. Everyone's there to have fun, so. 
make new friends. Speaking of making friends, you do not want to use Schedule Builder and completely pack it jam-packed full of just sessions. Some of the best experiences that I've ever had at Microsoft Ignite, I like to call the hallway session. Oh, yes. These are, these are times that maybe, hey, I met somebody in a previous session. I always like to do this. When I sit down in a room, introduce myself to the people next to me, what did we do real quick? And then uh, you get to know them. And a lot of times you have an opportunity to, to have a chat with somebody who works in the same industry as you or a similar industry, maybe a company of the same size. You may have some of the same problems. Yep. Maybe he's fixed a problem that you've run into. And it's great to have those hallway conversations, but it's also important to make sure you save time for the expo hall. We'll okay. go deeper into that. But yep. look, one place, all Microsoft experts, go to that expo hall. You brought up a tip in terms of bringing in some of the problems that you may have from your colleagues that may not be able to attend Microsoft right. Ignite. So that's actually number six somewhere. There we go, there's six, <laughs> uh, which is going in and logging on to the tech community pages, which has a section just for Microsoft Ignite. They've preloaded in a, I'm going to call it, call it a template entry that represents the sessions that are available. You can match those up with your schedule, but then also you have the ability to do a reply to that template entry, and then the speaker knows that there's someone interested and is going to be asking some questions about a particular topic or a subject. So every single session is represented inside a tech community as an actual entry. You can reply to that, start an online conversation, and as you mentioned, uh, even have questions that you have from colleagues at work that may not be at Ignite that might want to get asked. You can just shoot them inside of there and then go from there. There's even been some speakers that are posting pre-introductory videos like, hi, how are you? I'm Rick. I'm going to be talking about Oracle coming up on Ignite and you can actually see those videos that are on the tech community site. And, and when you when you engage on the tech community site and you bring those questions to speakers ahead of time, you can kind of help change the direction of oh, the session. Totally. What? Are you saying the sessions aren't finished yet? Uh, I would never say such a thing. Weren't slide decks <laughs> due a week, couple weeks ago? You got it. Hey, uh, number seven. Number seven. Let's talk. Th this is a common question. Yep. What's the dress code? What's the attire? <laughs> now you are dealing with two completely opposite factors when you deal with Orlando. You're outside in the heat and the humidity, and even in September, it's still gonna be pretty warm and right. very humid. Right. And then you're dealing with convention centers. Convention centers are experts at air conditioning. Mm -hmm. If you wanna know, if you wanna have the best, most efficient air conditioning, bring a person in from a convention center because the, the place can be like Arctic Wonderland. Uh, so you're gonna want to make sure that you've got um, comfortable attire. Mm -hmm. Now, some folks wear suits, if you're comfortable in a suit, wear a suit. I'm not a suit guy. You're not a suit guy. You, no. you wear the rugby shirt, the yep. t-shirt. I'm good with the collared shirt and the jeans. The most important factor about what you wear, it's got to be comfortable shoes. Yeah. And don't, don't bring a new pair of shoes. Do not bring new shoes. They must be broken in. And a new trick that I've learned over the last couple of years, bring two pair. Two Swap pairs. them out every day. So like one kind of a casual shoe and one kind of a like tennis shoe? Kind of however so however you want to go, just two different shoes. Cross trainers. Boots. Yeah, however you roll. Work boots. If, if you're comfortable. Yeah, I know you wear work boots all the time. Steel toes. You oh, can sure, bring them absolutely, you to. absolutely. Just bring, bring some that you can swap them out. That way your feet, it, it has to do with how your feet molds to the shoes, so on and so forth. So yeah, you it. that's a good, tri uh, a good tip there. The rest of the stuff, look, just it's, it's just appropriate. However, right. whatever makes you comfortable. And then of course, as I mentioned, the air conditioning, bring that jacket, bring yep. that sweatshirt, Something bring that pullover, layered. whatever you have. Throw it in your bag, carry it with you. Now, I think we're on number eight. I lost track. So yes, I'm gonna, we're on I'm number gonna, eight. I'm, I'm going to say it's number eight, and that's going to be very simple. We do use the socials. The socials are important to stay in touch with people and ask questions live during the event and also leading up to the event. And so the most common one that people use is Twitter with a hashtag MSIgnite. Mm -hmm. uh, is going to be the easiest one where you have literally dozens upon dozens, I'm going to say hundreds and thousands of people, but that's, and that's a little bit too much. Lots of people are following that particular hashtag. And for instance, we got into a very large conversation the other day just talking about attire and yes. what to wear. I'm not uh, wearing a man romper. <laughs> come on. Um, anyway, so uh, lots of fun stuff, but also very useful stuff. But then also people have been saying, hey, there's a problem with this, or hey, I can't get into here, or I don't know where this is. And then other people just chime in and respond. So always use a hashtag MSIgnite. The handle that is the official handle for Microsoft Ignite for the social team that, that answers and does the official announcements is at sign MS underscore Ignite. But everyone just uses the hashtag MS Ignite. I know people that actually signed up at Twitter just for the purposes of staying in touch during Ignite in the past. 
Along those same lines of this first timer thing, there's a great hashtag along with hashtag MS Ignite, which is hashtag first timers, mm -hmm. with plural with an S. Yep. There are several blog posts that have been linked to on that hashtag of folks who have attended Microsoft Ignite before that have some fantastic information. Stuff even for introverted folks, yep. like, hey, we're gonna have a meetup for introverts. That I think that's awesome. And some other do's and don'ts. So it's a great place. We've, these are kind of the top tips that we have. Mm -hmm. There's a lot more. There's a ton of information. Oh, yeah, they're still can going get. on. Check out all the, some amazing blog posts that are there on that hashtag. Yeah. Number nine is going to be food and water, basic, sus basic sustenance for everyday life. <laughs> including life during conferences. So remember to hydrate. Even though you're inside air conditioning, you may not feel that you're going to be dehydrated. There's always going to be water stations all around. You can go off and, and continue to stay hydrated. And then also don't forget to eat at different times. I know my blood sugar gets low in the mid-afternoon. I get really cranky or hangry, as they say. Yes. And uh, that's when you normally hang me a Snickers bar. <laughs> so, <laughs> so or a protein make, bar, whatever. Or protein bar, or whatever it happens to be. There's even fruit and vegetables and stuff like that too. So there are strategic places where you can go off and you can get snacks during the afternoons and, and in the mornings, uh, but then also hydration, hydration, hydration. Um, because you're not going between buildings, you're not going to have this big, massive, um, as you mentioned, weather, uh, suction of moisture from your body kind of thing going on with uh, with humidity or just feeling like you're taking a shower outside. Yep. Uh, but you still will want to stay hydrated as much as possible. I The, the tip I, I always tell folks, just throw a couple of, couple of things in your bag before you leave the hotel in the morning. Yep. Uh, there's plenty of stores and shops along International Drive where all the hotels are. Mm -hmm. or you can bring them with you, protein bars, granola bars, a couple of little snacks, you know. I kind of, you're not really, you shouldn't really do sugar because you do the sugar crash right, thing, but right. I, I'm doing sugar all the time. So I throw a couple candy bars in the bag. I just bring it with me. I just have stuff with me all the time. Number 10. I think that was just number 10. No, that was nine. No, I, I lost know. track. Anyway, it's a bonus one. Oh, bonus one. Getting out of your comfort zone. Oh, and networking yes. Networking with people. Yes. It may not come across this way, but I'm actually an introvert. I don't know. It's true. It's, <laughs> I need to recharge by myself for small periods of time to be able to still have the energy to go off and talk with people and meet with people. And so uh, I find I have to take time midway through the day, later in the evening before the evening activities kind of start, just to kind of go and chill, recharge, and just you know relax a little bit. And then I'm good to go. The most important thing though is the opportunity to network. As I mentioned, right. introducing yourself. Don't, if, if, if you grab your lunch, don't go off to a table where there's nobody sitting. Right. Find the one that's got eight people and one chair left. Go over and, you know, and generally, this is funny, I, I was reading this actually in a blog post as well, but I've experienced this. You've got a big full table, nobody's talking. <laughs> Sit down, like I said, step out of your comfort zone, introduce yourself, hey, this is the, I'm Joey, this is what I'm working on, what do you do, what do you yep. do? It's amazing the conversations and the, and the relationships. There are people who I know from previous conferences that I met either on the bus mm -hmm. or at lunchtime, and we've become friends and stayed in touch over the years. Online in every place. Absolutely. Absolutely. Place to do it. Microsoft Ignite, getting out of your comfort zone, good stuff. But we have more of these planned. This is a, the first one we're going to be doing. We've got a couple more coming up. Some of them are traditional, some of them are unconventional. So stay tuned for a lot more to come. Um, Ignite is taking place, Orlando, September Florida. 24th through the 28th at the Orange County Convention Center. Right. We're Patch and Switch. We're on the road to Microsoft Ignite.